Hi, it's a constant angler here. Um, as you can see in front of you here, um, I bought myself another fishing reel. Um, used to do a lot of perch fishing, but not a lot in the last 10 years and looking to get back into it again. So I was looking for a reel that's quite versatile. And I think it's the reel test on YouTube. A chap on there, uh, American guy, looks at a lot of uh, bait casters and uh, this caught my eye, the Lure Star C9 Air. It's the left hand variant. Um, it caught my eye because it's quite versatile. So if we open it up, see what uh, the look of the thing. Um, you can see I have already opened it. Now when I was mentioning versatility, this was one of the key things for me. Um, I wanted something I could use for BFS. So bait finesse system, so light, light lines. But I also wanted it to, to be able to use it for heavier lines um, and bigger lures. So sort of five gram weights, uh, jig heads and crawls and things like that on it. Um, so luckily this reel comes with two spools. One, which you can see in front of you, which I've already loaded with uh, six pound Shimano fluorocarbon. Um, is a bait finesse spool. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put the line on, it would have been easy to see, but you can see through the inside there how shallow that spool is and uh, the porting in it. Um, and it's extremely lightweight, this spool. Um, I think it's uh, 8.5 grams without the bearing on it, um, which is very light for a spool, uh, a bait finesse spool. And um, then we have a second spool here, which is your more traditional um, deeper spool. Uh, morning, it's Constant Angler here on a nice, chilly, beautiful uh, winter's morning down on uh, one of my local rivers. Uh, the aim of today is to um, try out uh, the Lure Star C9 Air reel. I was hoping to go perch fishing, but roadworks are making it impossible to get there and back in time. Uh, so uh, I thought, well, best thing to do would be to uh, do a casting and performance. I'm not expecting to catch anything here today. It's late in the year. Uh, I'd be lucky if there was a trout around or a late season school bass. Uh, I'm more in an estuary here than further up the river, so I'm not expecting a lot. At least there's some water clarity. I wasn't really expecting that either. The tide's dropping, so if I catch a fish it's a bonus. So what I'm going to start off with is uh, the deeper spool of the two that you get with this reel. Uh, I've got 12 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. Uh, I've teamed the reel up with uh, the Surinoyer C702. It comes with two tips, a medium and a medium light. I think it's rated from uh, 4 to 20 pound line, which I don't know about that, and 1 16th to 3 eighths of an ounce. So it's quite a light outfit, but this is what I used to use with uh, for perch paired with a standard bait caster. Uh, I'll try various weights of lures, heavier lures obviously for um, than your uh, BFS stuff to start off with. We'll see how we go, and then we'll switch spools to the shallow spool and rods to the uh, I've got myself one of these Kaying Tecton BFS rods the uh, what's it say on here TTC 662L now that's a proper bait finesse rod it's not expensive for the game it, uh, it was about 50 pounds 45 pounds something like that off uh, AliExpress I think uh, let's see what happens see how we go All right, so let's uh, first up. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Not a huge distance, but it's a light lure. So first chuck on 10. Oh, it's quite smooth, it went straight. Let's take it off a click or two down to nine. Uh, with this reel, you have uh, several different settings um, <clears throat> within one clip, uh, within one range, so between 10 and nine. In all, there's 32 settings, I think. So we've gone down to nine now. Yeah, much, much better. No fluffs. Uh, I would say that's about 
30 yards, something like that. I'm not very good with yards and feet, I must admit. But the sort of distance I'd be expecting to chuck a lure of this, this weight. Perfectly fine for what I use it for, which is per fishing. Let's try again. <clears throat> so when you're bait casting, using any bait cast, this is important to have a smooth cast. You can cast over your head or you can cast out the side. Um, when you go to the lower, um, the BFS stuff, uh, you have to ca change your casting style a little. It's more of a flick than uh, using your arms. You're more using your wrists and the backswing is important. Little bit of fluffing up there on eight. A bit surprised at. Still under control, but I did give it some that time. All right, so okay, so let's go half a click. Let's go to seven and a half. Yeah, bird's nest. Which I was expecting because I was losing control already. So a light lure, heavy braid. And we have a, a snag, or birdie as we call it. Here you go, that's what I'm using. It could be 10 gram actually. Let's try again, back on eight. It wants to fluff up a little. Yeah, there's no play there, but it's usable. We'll try it with um, something heavier if I do have something heavier in my box. All right, so now we've got a decent sized spinner on. Let's see how it performs with 10. Yeah, good control. Spinner's pulling against the tide in the current and the real drag is performing. So that's good. Of course, this spinner has a bigger profile than the, uh, take it down to nine than the uh, Texas rig I was using, so it would be harder to cast. It'll catch the wind. Today is a beautiful day. There's hardly a breath of wind at all. So uh, perfect for a casting demonstration video. So we dropped it to nine. Everything was controlled. Let's take it down to eight. Right, we're down to eight. Yeah, a bit of fluff it up there. Not the best cast I did, but still. So that bigger profile is showing up and I'm only on eight and already I'm starting to get birdies. Some of that's to do with my casting style. So let's, uh, yeah, no. Nah. So that's a little disappointing. There's some kayakers here. Let's try again. Smoother, slower. Yeah, it's fluffing up. Reasonable distance there. Fishable. So I would say eight is too low. In fact, that's a click above. Alright, so back to 10, and we put a bomber on this time. A uh, little crankbait, surface wake bait. Let's see how that larger profile casts. So, same again, nice steady overhead flick on 10. Not great distance, but okay. And you can see with this lure, it goes just under the surface, or if you raise your rod tip, it will come up to the surface and jiggle along the surface. Great little chub. Perchlers. So let's take it down to nine. Do the same again. Yeah, a little bit further. As I say, I'm not really expecting to catch much today. It's just a casting demonstration. So line lay's good on the reel. It's reasonably smooth. I'd like the magnets, if I'm honest, to be stronger. We'll see how it performs with the BFS. So we'll drop it to eight.
yeah fluffing up that's not good I mean I give it a bit then I must admit but so larger profile baits it's not particularly happy with uh, you need the magnets quite high so you know it's all right saying you've got 32 settings on a reel but if you can only use um, three of them so we'll try again with a smoother cast I see it's wanting to fluff up all the time and that's on eight it's not it's on eight and a half actually so that's really disappointing I'll be putting this up a click forever towards nine and I'm not gaining an awful lot of distance there either let's try again yeah we're fluffing up all the time though and that's on nine and a half so you know I'm no expert on this it could be do my casting style let's go back it up to nine then but I would be expecting my bait casters to cast this sort of lure now, that's fine that's controlled it's reasonable distance so we can say the reel will fish um, it will cast these lures that I use to where I want um, the distance I want I just would expect to be able to drop this reel down to four or five something like that so the magnets aren't particularly strong and we're using standard lures here you know there's a bomber lure a lot of people use this how much it weighs um, I'll research them and put them on the video but a lot of people use these for chub and perch and I'm having to fish this on nine and I'm getting probably 30 yards and that is far enough um, what would this cast like on uh, a sort of pitch cast nah, not very good was it that was probably me more than anything uh, a little side cast if you're in tight swims uh, we'll do it you're not going very far are you uh, we could probably do a little flick yeah it's going okay uh, that's on nine probably because I'm not putting as much inertia in a side cast I can probably drop it down do a smooth cast but we're going to switch to the BFS in a second so there's a little it's doing it I just wish the magnets were stronger and I could use the full range all right so we're going to uh, take the reel off this rod I must admit it's quite a soft rod I prefer a faster tip rod we're going to you can focus on that and open up the side plate so we pull the lever pop the end plate off pull the deep spool out get the shallow spool drop it in the end plate back on no troubles there flip the lever to close pop it on the tepton which I've never used I've never BFS fished before so if you're a novice like me this is probably quite an apt review for you so my first impressions when I pull the rod out of the bag as I oh, first time I did is wow that's light um, it's a beautiful little rod weird cork handle uh, but I think I prefer something more understated just foam um, as I said it's the TTC 662 L so it's six foot six inch and it will do two to ten grams and three to eight pound lines right so we got the uh, BFS set up on here we got the C9 low star air it's on the Cayenne Teton 662L and I've teamed that up with what I would call a standard uh, perch setup. We've got a, got a 7 gram jig head and a paddler tail grub on there. I'm using 6 pound Shimano X line. Uh, I've set the reel up. Slow drop on the lure as I always do. Little 
overhead flick out about 20 yards nothing wrong with that on setting 10 so we'll drop it to a 9 uh, I'm very inexperienced with this BFS so I say I haven't done it before we'll go down to 9 uh, and a little overhead chuck nice and smooth lines fluffing up a little as you can see so down to 9 already fluffing up a bit mm. could be me could be my casting style I know with BFS it's more flip than it is the use of your whole arm so it's out there on 9 going a great distance I'm not really going for it I think if I did it would fluff up let's drop it down to 8.5 see what happens there we go yeah it's still controlled tiny bit further and we're talking BFS I don't know what sort of distances you lads are getting with your reels but um, if you're using outer bearons things like that but uh, I'm doing a little flick cast so I'm not using the whole arm it's just the backstroke and flicking it off the wrist I'm casting higher at 45 degrees not looking at the water let's take it down to 8 so same thing again yeah it's fluffing up a bit yeah we got a bird's nest there and um, interestingly we have some line trapped between the spool yeah if you can see that I'm not very impressed with that so the tolerances aren't great so uh, Let's uh, take the spool off, and that's only on eight and a half. Yeah, I don't know what the to what it's like on uh, the more expensive ones, where the tolerance is greater. But in a fishing situation, for me, that's not great. So, is this reel going to be as versatile as it's claimed? You know, I have perfect conditions today so um, we'll, tr we'll try again it might be my casting style but that's fluffy right up that's on eight that's not a hard cast and again it's stuck between the spool so thumbs down there I don't want to be doing this every chuck and of course if that gets stuck in between your spool you're damaging your line I mean, this is light line as it is. Hmm. Well, let's go to a lighter lure. Maybe this heavier lure is causing too much inertia for the spool. So we'll go straight down to a lighter lure now. Right, so we're going for a, a lighter mini plug here. This is what I'd be expecting to catch trout on. It's about uh, four grams, and um, we'll start off on ten. So first chuck, a little bit of breeze coming out, fifteen yards on ten. Drop it to nine and a half. Yeah, it's over controlled, which with a lighted lure, I suppose it would be. So, I'll we gonna is it gonna fish better with really light lures? Mm, not very good for distance wise. Yeah, we're not going far. Is a very light lure. I'll put on the video exactly how light it is, and it's a reasonable size profile. So let's take it down to eight and a half. Down to eight and a half. Ah, a tiny bit further. No great distances though. No 
no fluff up at that point. Take it down to eight. Yeah, I'm casting incorrectly there. We got a little birdie. Like I say, I'm not very experienced with this BFS. But if you're like me and you want to give it a go, you want something that's going to give you confidence straight away to perfect your casting and you want to feel confident that it's you, not the equipment you're using. And at the minute, I'm not really feeling that. Anyway, let's try a little side cast. Yeah, it's birds nested on eight with a smaller lure. Hmm, not impressive. Uh, I know the guy on the reel test did use this reel to cast little tiny trout lures. And he's a very experienced BFS angler. But you know, I'm... As I say, I've never used a sh one of the Shimano Alder Barons or something like that to have a reference point with it. So I'll be interested in your comments. Um, now this is what this channel's about. Ordinary anglers, like myself, see a bit of kit and think, that's, that's cheap. Um, maybe that'll be all right. I mean, you can see I'm totally screwed here, you know. It's totally fluffed up. So I'm not going very far with a light, what I call a trout plug. And we ain't doing it. You know, if I'm out fishing, I will to be mucking around with this. So, uh, this is six pound fluorocarbon, that's what I was recommending. I would say people fish with less than that. It's a fluorocarbon recommended to me by BFS guys. And I'm having nothing but trouble. <laughs> they laugh away, but you know, I mean, if the, I've spent some money on this reel, I can use it anyway. I'll use it for uh, larger lures and the deeper spool. But, uh, you know, if you're like, I'll take it back to eight and a half. If you're like me, yeah, you want a bit more than that and a blooming birdie from a reel set on nearly nine there. And I've got that spool set quite t tight. There's no hint it's getting stuck in between the spool. Yeah, no. Maybe if you're an eight and out BFS bot guy, you control this better than me. Uh, like the guy from the real test, but I want a bit more than that for my fishing reels. That is a very light lure, to be honest. But you know, you should be able to BFS kit cast down to uh, let's go back to nine and a half, do a little little flick cast. So. Yeah, it's pulling to the left there. It's controlled. It's not going to do what I want, though. I don't seem to see I'm not the best caster. 